New at 11, a fight for democracy. A Norfolk man wants to change the way school board members are selected in the Mermaid City, and right now they are appointed by city council. But Dennis Gronka says that does not give parents or residents much of a say. Ten of your size, Lauren Compton, spoke to Gronka about this effort tonight. So how's he doing this, Lauren? Well, Tom, Gronka is collecting signatures on a petition like this. He hopes to gather enough signatures to get this item on November's ballot as a referendum. Excuse me, you live in Norfolk? Hey, would you sign our petition? This is how Dennis Gronga spends his time off, and he hopes to make a big change in the Norfolk School Board. Great, thank you. Please tell your friends that we have the petition drive going. Okay. Really simple. All we're trying to do is get a question on the ballot to give people a choice between an elected school board or an appointed school board. Right now, Norfolk School Board members are appointed by City Council. Gronka says this process leaves parents and residents without a voice. If we can get an elected school board, hopefully that they can be more responsive to the parents and to the curriculum. What's also interesting about Gronka is he has no kids in Norfolk schools and he doesn't work for the school system but he's passionate about getting this measure on the November ballot for the future of the city. So that's all we're trying to do is I want kids to be educated. You know, the better educated the, the kids are, the, the better the community is. With his organization, Norfolk Citizens for Elected School Board Members, he's gotten more than 8,500 Norfolk residents like Hazel McLaren to sign up. I have grandkids and great grandkids. I think they should we should have a choice in who represents them in, you know, in school. Gronka's group still needs more than 11,000 signatures. And we're trying to get volunteers because we're in our last 21 days. With little manpower and even less time, Gronka plans to keep at it until the July 14th deadline. Thanks. Great, thank you. Hey, tell your friends with kids that they need to sign the petition so we can get the question on the November ballot. Gronka needs volunteers to help collect signatures. They have just a few weeks to get more than 11,000 names. In the newsroom, Lauren Compton, 10 on your side.